And then once you have this data warehouse, it makes it very easy to create business intelligence solutions on top of it. In particular, SSA's cubes can be created from the, this one version of the truth. And this is what you have on the left. If you do not have a data warehouse and you are, for example, in shipping and you want to pull data from multiple different data warehouses, you're going to write some pretty sophisticated queries. They're going to maybe use link tables to pull this data from all these different systems. It could be some of these queries I've seen at clients are just shocking at how crazy they are and, and the maintainability of them and there's hard coded, it's just insane. On the right side, if you take the time to create an enterprise data warehouse, you can have one area that everybody can pull reports for. And it makes it so much easier. It improves the accuracy and the timing of, of reports. So jumping into hardware solutions. If, if you go, OK, yeah, data warehouse will work for us. This, this is a great thing. We're going we're to implement this. Where do I start, James, with hardware? And this is a whole other presentation I've given before, but the typical scenario is, okay, let's build a data warehouse, let's call up a Dell representative and, and or go to the Dell site and we'll just get some massive amount of hardware. We want to be more safe than sorry, so we, 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 we purchase all this hardware and then we kind of cross our fingers and hope what we build will be, have acceptable performance on there. Well, many times you either don't purchase enough hardware or you purchase way more than you actually need. So how can we get around this? Well, there's two ways. There's, a, there's this fast track data warehouse configuration that came out a few years back. It's a paper that tells you how to configure hardware for data warehousing. So it eliminates all the guesswork of what you should purchase. Many times the bottleneck in a in, in hardware is you cannot feed the CPU enough information quick enough. Your disk is where your bottleneck is. These fast track rack ar architecture have the configuration set so you can optimize your disk access and you can feed that CPU so you're seeing 80% or so performance in a CPU um, because it's, it's being fed enough. That's what the fast track data warehouse ar architecture gives you. It's a 50 page document plus out there that that goes through everything that you can think of for properly optimizing hardware. You can go out to Dell and you can see servers out there that, are that have been optimized using the Fast Track Data Warehouse, saving you all that guesswork in there. There's also appliances which kind of take it a step further, where not only are they using Fast Track Data Warehouse, but they pre-installed operating systems and, and SQL Server and configured it. So in the end, it's, it's you, you order it, it comes, you plug it in, and you go. There's a tremendous amount of time savings and that is done, that is, that is taken care of by having an appliance. And many clients I've gone to, if they don't do any of these methods, they're, they're spending months gathering people together, determining what they need, talking to the network guy and the DBA and the business users. And it's a lot of big guessing game in there. And they could spend months before you even get a, a a server that you can use to build your data warehouse solution. So if you look at the Fast Track Data Warehouse version 4 is with 2012 SQL Server. Here's some of the things it has, database configuration, hardware system, all these settings are in that guide and if you purchase appliance they're all, they're all configured for you. So you get, a, you're reducing the risk is the biggest thing in there. But you also get high scalability, um, you get a choice of many different platforms because of many different vendors out there support this, and you get an architecture that's all balanced for data warehousing. Here is an example of some of the appliances out there. We have HP and Dell, IBM. Um, some of these are, are version 4.0. A couple of them, HP, are coming out this quarter with upgraded versions of some of their appliances. But the, if you look at like the data warehouse appliance, that not only has a fast track data warehouse architecture, but it also has SQL Server installed on there. The decision appliance then adds an installation of SharePoint on there, uh, which can be a real pain to set up. So you can order, you can call HP and say, give me the decision appliance, and you have all that installed for you. Again, you get it delivered, you plug in, and you go. Tremendous time savings in there. And then we also have the parallel data warehouse. 
that's a whole other session, but that's a multi-process, parallel processing system for really large data warehouses. And they've now with 2012, they, they've come out with a version that has a quarter rack, which is a much smaller cost barrier entry as far as cost. So I strongly suggest to check that out if you have a large data warehouse, something in the, in the maybe 75 terabytes or more, this could be a great solution for you. So uh, real quick, I, I like to talk about data warehouse and data mart because I see a lot of confusion on, on what is a data warehouse compared to data mart. Think of a data warehouse as a, a single repository where you can have all your different subjects, financial and accounting and inventory, are all going to be in this one data warehouse. It'll have detailed information, the lowest level. So you may go down to the order level and have individual records. Uh, the atomic level will be at the individual record layer of, of orders. It'll be integrated with multiple data sources in there. And what it'll be used for is the feed of data mart. So you may have a data warehouse, but you just but that may be such a large area of storage uh, or, or information that you decide let's let's create a smaller data mart that will be used for reporting purposes that reporting purposes that I can give to a organ a particular department. So finance may come to you and say we want to create some reports. We don't want to use the whole data warehouse. It's too confusing to us. Can you make us a data mart that's optimized for reporting needs? So you will build that data mart out of the data warehouse. It's usually oriented to specific subjects, in this case finance, and they will then use that data mart for their reporting needs. So you can think of in the end that all these data marts, the com combination of that may be equivalent to the data mart, to, the, to, the, to, the, to that large data warehouse. So in short, a data warehouse has all the different subject areas in the data mart. We usually just contain one of those subject areas. And we'll talk more about this in the preceding slides.